many of you have been following me for a while? And when I went over some history about New York, you know, there were a lot of people in New York that had slaves, contrary to the fact that many of these folks get in our faces and lie and say, well, my family never had a slave. Well, there were an awful lot of people in the state of New York that did have slave in their, you know, in their household. Not to mention a lot of that city was built by slaves, those big buildings you see. And number two, the first commodity sold on Wall Street were slaves. And it's very fitting that New York is now on the brink of financial collapse. The very place all of this happened, y'all. So this came out in the New York Post, March 9th, 2019. New York City is edging towards financial disaster, experts warn. So it's saying that the city is getting very close to financial bankruptcy for the first time in 40 years. This is what the financial experts are saying. And, you know, spending is surging, but a lot of people are leaving the state of New York. In fact, even where I am, a lot of people are leaving. You know, no one wants to continue to live. <clears throat> you know, when you come up in the Northeast, the cost of living is high. It really is. And a lot of people are now getting sick of that. Living in these states, you're paying higher property taxes. The housing is more expensive. So people are now making a mad exodus to the South, where everything is much cheaper. And for the money that you're paying for houses up here, you can get a much bigger one in the South. So right now, the long-term debt is now more than 81000 per household, and Mayor de Blasio is ramping up spending as much as $3 billion more in the new budget that the current, is, um, the current budget is $89,000.2 billion. So the city is running a, in a serious deficit right now, and um, it would be even worse if the country fell into a recession for New York, okay? Um, and what they're saying is um, right now, the city is in a very difficult spot, but it would be an impossible situation if we had any kind of setback. de Blasio has detailed a $750 million in savings for the preliminary fiscal 2020 budget, but that won't be enough to starve off a bloodbath if New York's economy is hit by financial shocks. So right now, the situation in New York is so sensitive, they can't even go through even a hint of a recession. It would just be all out collapse there, including a recession which some see on the horizon, and many of the experts are saying we will go into a recession. Governor Cuomo preliminary budget has 600 million in the city's cuts in the coming year. Yeah, and that's the thing, y'all. It could be job loss behind this just so they can try to save the city budget because you know that's what happens. They start cutting jobs. But the, but the city spending up some 32% since de Blasio took office triple the rate of inflation. May need to be cut deeper, these analysts add. The city's long-term pension obligations have escalated as well as its workforce has soared by more than 33,000 in the last five years. Other startling indicators. New York State and city rank number one nationwide in state and local tax burden. Property taxes, almost half of the city's revenue, is rising faster than 
any other revenue source, squeezing businesses and forcing homeowners already hit by federal property tax deductions, change to relocate to lower tax um, state taxes, which is very true. I know a lot of people, including some of my relatives, that left out of New York and went down to Atlanta, Florida, but there I only have maybe a small group of relatives that are still in Jamaica, Queens. But everybody else got the hell out of there. They said it was just too high, the cost of living, and they got tired of it. The top 1% of New York City earners pay some 50% of the Big Apple's income tax revenue. New York City could go bankrupt, absolutely, said Peter C. Earle, an economist at the American Institute for Economic Research. In that case, the city would get temporary protection from its creditors, but it would be very difficult for the city to take on new debt. So there you go. New York City is in trouble. You know, it'll probably be handled just like everything else in America. Put a Band-Aid on it and move on. Don't you just love it? But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.